My family spoke music at the dinner table. My mother's voice played bluesy folk against the strumming guitar she couldn't play anymore but kept in the corner. And my father's voice spoke in long operatic phrases about my little sister's ability to speak eight dialects of their language at the young age of 14. I would sit at a table full of music and not speak because I had no voice, and my ear was tainted by a misdirected chromosome, which left me with no ear for music. But still, I tried. I tried my hardest to find a dialect of their language so they could be proud of me, but all I got from my tries were winces of, Emily, could you give it a rest? And all I got from my tries were parlor tricks that no one took as an infant's cries in their language, dismissing it as, it's not like that's music. And they never bothered to pick up the books I left for them to read to understand that I was trying to listen with deaf ears, but they were closing their eyes to my language, dismissing it as, it's not like that's music. But it is music. It's the wail of a violin in my voice when I speak of lost loves, and it's the smooth strum of a bass when I move my body in time to the metronome of my heart, and it's me learning to play Amazing Grace on the guitar and having them laugh in my face when I slip on the string and it jars. It's me learning the chords to my favorite song in prep secret so I can say what I need to say in a language I'll never hear, so I can get them to stop singing to each other for just a minute and tell them, I can speak in words and phrases twisted like notes around your heart, so you can see that my voice can't hold a tune, but it can keep a song. Yeah!